now so when you will start a uh, studio it will ask you for this so if you have license you can go and activate the license but right now we are using community edition so i'll say free the first thing you have to do is here you can see there are four different templates available using that you can create a workflow first is blank which will give you an empty empty workspace second is a simple flow chart diagram so that what it's going to do is it's going to give you a basic flow chart to understand how it looks then agent assistant if you want to create an attended board bot this is the template so you will get pretty small structure using that you can create and we are going to use one by one and transactional business process if you want to create state machine diagram then we have to use this now this is the complex one and frankly speaking till date we have not used this in any of our process simple flow chart is enough but transactional business process we will see couple of examples okay the next thing is let's start with a blank so i'll say i'll give a name showing demo you can change the location you can give a description it's always good to have a description remember say create behind it is creating a project for you in that it is going to have a xaml file remember it is created based on wpf so it supports xaml file okay now let's try to understand first project structure studio structure and then we will go ahead and create some workflows now on the left hand side what you are seeing it's called activities window okay here you will have all the activities now by default in ui path you will not have all the activities installed you have to add packages so when you click this button it will give you a package window from the package window you can add extra activities okay so you will have installed available and update you can select auto update so whenever a new update will come automatically it will be pushed to your studio right now we are interested in available now can you see there are multiple activities which are not there so we'll talk about this whenever there will be requirement i'll be coming here and installing it for example i want to work with pdf so i need to install this simply say install and these activities will be added here so this way you can add all the activities or the activities which is required for you now you have to go and search the activities the best way is you simply type here and use it now on top of that you can say add to favorites so what will happen and remove this search by pressing this close button it will be added to your favorites so what will happen you need not to go and search every time you can simply drag and drop the next thing is project here also you are having same buttons if you say it will give you the disk location of your folder okay right now i am having a main.json right we will use this main.xaml remember when you run this project from orchestrator or from robot 
the first page or the first workflow it will pick is the main workflow. And from the main workflow, you can call different workflows. We'll see how to do that. But understand, this main workflow is required. When you are running from studio, you can run any XAML file, any workflow. But when you run from orchestrator or from Robo, you need mail.xaml. This is for refresh. This is for remove unused screenshot. What is the screenshot we'll see? And See, this is one of the best thing available in UiPath, which I haven't seen in other tools. When you click this, TFS, SVN, you can configure your workflow with SVN or Team Foundation Server. What will happen? Now, multiple people can work in a single project. That means you can, you can integrate source control here. So in the advanced part, I'm going to show you this also. Okay. Next, right hand section is the properties, which is very important. If you are selecting any workflow, the workflow related so activities, the activity related setting will come here. Okay. All the changes you can, you have to make here. The next window is the outline window. We basically hardly use this outline window, but to understand what is the structure of your sample. Okay, I'm deleting this. Now, in down, we are having an output. This is a very important window. If you want to test, if you want to debug, if you want to see the execution, all these messages will come here. Any error, any exception, everything you will see here. Next is variables. If you want to declare a variable, you have to use this window. If you need to declare arguments, arguments are different. See, when you want to pass the data from one workflow to another workflow, you need a like function, you need an argument. When you want to pass the parameter among multiple workflow, it's an argument. If it is just local variable, variable. And the good thing is import. Can you see all the .NET methods are there? These all are the .NET. Now, if you want to import some package, you can do, do that from here. You can see all the .NET packages are listed here. You can pick anyone and include. Got it, everyone? Any doubt as of now? Please. Any doubt? Yes, no. Okay. So, the next thing is toolbar. The first thing is the start that we see at the beginning. Then, see, this is the design where we have new, if you want to create a new XAML file, save, if you want to save the XAML file for running the application. Cut, copy, paste is fine. These, all the buttons, we will see later point of time. Okay. Then we have execute for running, stopping, debugging. Okay. Remaining all. Is kind of validate, breakpoints, step in, step out like F10, F11 will do. This option we'll talk later. Setup also we'll see later. Part of that. Now, as I told you here, we can create two types of, we can create two types of XAML file. Okay. We can create how many types? Two types. First is, uh, let me take a note. Sequence workflow, other is flowchart workflow. Two types of basically we'll create. And the third one is state machine. Okay, now 
what is the meaning of sequence if you want to perform some task one after another then you, so if it's just a basic task what after one activity you want to perform another activity you go for the sequence but remember sequence cannot have branching that means now after one step i want to go to top all the things it is not possible if you want to execute things in sequential order sequence right now. flow chart now from one point to another point you want to jump okay then you if it is little complex then go for flowchart if it is very complex go for state machine